Yeah, I was asking for a chance And I see you getting out I, 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 I can't understand what is up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know, my name is Antonio Matuire and I own a 2017 BMW 340i. On this channel, I do DIY installs, product reviews, POV drives, you name it. So if you're into that kind of stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel and joining the Matuire fam. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends, but just like that, let's get right into it. So in today's video, I will be installing what I am sitting in right now. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at it. So first things first, huge, huge shout out to Brom for sponsoring these seats. From what I can tell so far, they are very good quality. The leather, the stitching, obviously they're not installed yet, but just sitting in them while they're uninstalled, they're super comfortable and they do keep me in position. They hug my body very well. Now, just for reference, I'm not a tall guy by any means. I'm only 5'6". And so the fact that the bolsters right here on the shoulder kind of line up perfectly with me and same with the headrest right here, it does feel very comfortable to me. I know Brom does offer other seats that are recommended for taller individuals if you are taller, but if you are on the shorter side or even average height, I would say these seats are perfect for that. So these seats right here are the Elite Series seats. Brom does offer numerous seats. These ones I opted for are a little older, but they do have a new version of this seat. They also sell racing harnesses as well as harness bars. So if you guys are in the market, go ahead and check them out. They do have very nice seats to select from for an affordable price. I did opt for the white and black colorway on these seats just because I thought it would look really well with the other white accents I have around the car. So I wanted to keep the white accents going. So these are adjustable back and forth as well as reclinable. Although it's not my everyday daily driver, I do drive it often. So I did want to keep that comfortability. Now I didn't want to bore you guys with an unboxing or any of that, which is kind of why I just laid it all out from the beginning. But to keep this video flowing, let's go ahead and uninstall my OEM seats. So from my understanding, getting these OEM seats out should be very simple. There should be four bolts. There is one right here as well as over here. And then once I'm done getting those unscrewed, I'm gonna go ahead and move the seat all the way forward. And there should be two more bolts on either side on the back. So it does look like the bolts are a T50. Now, I am pretty sure that the Brom seats comes with its own hardware as far as bolts, but we are going to keep those just in case. Once you get the bolts out, lastly, there is a harness on the bottom side of this right there that you're going to want to undo. Once I undo the harness, go ahead and take the seat out. All right, so after the harness, I completely forgot about the seat belt, but you're going to have to unscrew the seat belt right here as well. Oh yeah, dude, passenger seat delay, weight savings. All right, so the seat is removed. It's always a good idea to vacuum up and just clean up a little bit. So yeah, I gotta clean up all these goddamn cheese it crumbs and shit. You know, dad life, but um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, but now that we do have both seats out, I did want to kind of see what kind of weight savings we're getting when going from the OEM seats to the Brom seats. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the scale so we can see how much each one weighs. All right, so here's my little scale. So let's go ahead and get the OEM one on there first. All right, so it looks like the OEM one weighs about 29.2 pounds. Now this should be pretty accurate because I already installed the sliding wheels on the bottom of this one. Um, the only thing that this one will be missing is the bracket, but the bracket probably weighs, I don't know, three to five pounds. We are at, so it looks like it's about 14.6 which is a weight savings of about what? The other one was 29? So yeah, it looks like the OEM seat weighs about 20 more pounds than this one. All right, just installed the seatbelt to the new seat. So we are using our OEM seatbelts. So on the sides, you can see this is where it was mounted right there. You're gonna have to unscrew that bolt and then place it on here. Unfortunately, Brom did not send out like a nut or anything to go on the backside. So you can either make a Home Depot run, but luckily I did have uh, these nuts right here laying around in my garage. So I went ahead and put one on the back side. It's a little ratchet, not gonna lie, but it works. And I just went ahead and used the OEM bolt that I removed from that seatbelt bracket. So it's pretty solid. When you remove the seatbelt, just make sure that you're removing this harness. Pretty much just take out this set of wires from this harness, and then the whole seatbelt bracket will come out. And then you'll be able to plug this back in to uh, this yellow harness right there. Ooh. 
All right, so we just got this one bolted down and I gotta say, it looks hella, hella good. The white accents just make this car look so much better. Uh, it's kind of like this one on crack, because as you can see, this one's black and it has like these white little stripes on the side, but it's nothing compared to this. But yeah, check that out. Those are gonna look super good. Just finished this one up. The only issue I really had was figuring out where the seatbelt is gonna mount to. So I have seen other videos where people just kind of like mount it to the floor, or you might have to like bend this straight so that way uh, it's not interfering with anything. But obviously these seats are meant for, you know, harnesses anyway. So I do plan on getting a harness in the future, but until then I am gonna need seatbelt functionality. So I plan on figuring that out later, but for right now, let me go ahead and get the other seat in as well. All right guys, it is the next day, but I did manage to get both of them in and I think they look super, super good. So I kind of wanted to do a cinematic. So let me go ahead and go on a little test drive, see how they feel. And then also we'll stop somewhere and get a nice little cinematic video and get some photos so you guys can see exactly how they look. So now I just kind of wanted to take the time and give you guys a little review and whether or not I think it's worth it if you guys should buy some Braum seats yourself. So right off the bat, surprisingly, they don't sit super, super low, which is a good thing in my opinion. Um, I know coming from OEM seats, when you get race seats, they usually sit very low and some people aren't used to it. As far as comfortability, these seats are pretty comfortable. Doesn't surprise me because like I said, when I was sitting in them in the garage before they were even installed, they did feel very comfortable. Now, mind you, obviously, they're not going to be as comfortable as your OEM seats, but for bucket race seats, these are pretty comfortable as compared to other seats that I've sat in. Now, I can't tell you guys as far as sitting in it for an extended period of time because since I've been sitting in it, I've been sitting in it probably for no more than like half an hour, but I don't doubt that I would be able to sit in these seats comfortably on a long road trip. So next I wanted to talk about how planted they are as compared to OEM. So these seats do not move at all. There's no give. Once you move the seat back as far as you want and recline it as far as you want, the seat's not moving. I feel like with the OEM seats, you kind of had a little bit of give and a little play when you're making a turn. And even when pushing back against the OEM seat, um, it kind of gave just a little bit, but this seat right here is super planted when I've been taking turn I can feel my body just stay in place and that does have a lot to do with the bolsters as well The bolsters like I said before they uh, fit me pretty well and um, it doesn't let me move around as much as OEM So this seat really just keeps you in your place while you're driving and that's exactly what it's meant to do You're just absolutely planted And lastly, I just wanted to talk about the pure look of the seats. These seats make the car look so much more aggressive. The fact that you can see them through the windshield, because my windshield is not tinted, or even when I'm just driving with the windows down, it makes the car look completely different in my opinion. And the interior of my car is actually starting to match the aggressiveness as the exterior of my car. So all in all, do I recommend the Braum seats? Absolutely. Whether you take your car to the track or you're just a spirited driver, not only are you saving weight, about 15 to 20 pounds each seat, you're also getting the look of the aggressive seats, as well as having the ability to get some racing harnesses. I think that's going to be super nice once I get my harnesses finally. The seat feels good, looks good. I have no complaints. The only two issues I've ran into that I'm gonna have to figure out one I already mentioned earlier is the seatbelt. I'm gonna have to figure out where that seatbelt is going to mount. That's why I'm not wearing a seatbelt right now. And two, since I unplugged the harness on the bottom of the OEM seats and installed these ones, I do get a driver restraint system warning as well as a passenger restraint system warning. From my understanding, you can code those out. So I'm not super worried about that. And I'm not even really super worried about the seatbelt either. But just like that, that wraps up today's video. If you guys have any questions on the install or anything else BMW related, you can always hit me up on my Instagram at Matwire. It's probably the easiest way to get a hold of me. If you're not already subscribed to the channel and you like content like this please consider subscribing don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and as always matoire fam remember your goals and don't stop until you reach them
Peace. Excited just to see me, wish I felt the same way. Later on, she'll probably get a name change. People changing on me like they gain weight. I wish that I waited on a